hello everyone in this tutorial i will show you guys how to place a camera and adjust its properties in revit but before we start let me remind you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel also if you have any difficulty or queries related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start with the tutorial in the previous video I have shown you guys how to adjust crew north and project north of the building in Revit. Today I will continue from here. So go to view tab, click on camera and place it where you want in your floor plan. In the first click camera is placed and in the second click you show, you show the path at which the camera is going to see. After placing the camera, the 3D view screen will automatically appear. Now you can adjust these dots, drag it down so that you can adjust the view. Either you want to constrain it somewhere, as you can see in the video. Now I cannot see the wall pattern and the floor pattern which has I have designed so for that select show parts in this parts visibility tab. Now click on this edit of graphics display a new dialog box appears. Let's check out the shadows if I click on cast shadows the, uh, the light appears from the window and every Thing else gets dark because the windows are the only light source right now so I'm going to uncheck that and then click on show ambient shadows so that the this 3d has a sense of depth in it now if I want to create a sketchy view a sketchy image so it that can happen from this sketchy lines and then you can you have to check this enable sketchy lines and if you increase these values of jitter and extension the more sketchier this image will get you can also change the style of this 3d view from here for example, if you want to keep make this image realistic, just check it. But I am going to disable the sketchy lines and I am going to keep the style as hidden line. Then click on OK to close this dialog box. Now uncheck this crop view. Now there is no limit to this image. You can zoom in and zoom out anywhere. You can also rotate within it. But I want to constrain this image and I want to place a limit to it. So I'm going to select crop view. Also those blue, four blue dots are not appearing. So for that Make sure crop region box is checked. If you want to limitize the 3D view to a specific point, click on far clip active check that box and enter a value to far clip offset I'm going to enter 30 feet and now you can see that the back wall is not has not appeared because it is behind that 30 feet, 30 feet clip but I'm going to uncheck it as I want all of as I want to uh, keep that image of wall you can also enter a section box in this view let's check it how it is working you can delete a wall or roof or floor with the help of these arrows of the section box 
in the next video i will show you guys a detailed a detailed tutorial about this section box and how you can obtain uh, drawings of perspective from it If you want an orthographic drawing, you can select it from here and the drawing moves from and the image moves from perspective to orthographic, but I'm going to keep it perspective. Now you can select the height at which I is placed. For example, I'm going to enter it 10 feet, then the eye moves towards the ceiling. If I'm going to enter 8 feet here, so now the camera is placed at 10 8 feet now i can change the target elevation from here for example i'm going to enter 2 feet in here so now i am looking from upwards to below if i change the eye elevation at 1 feet and the target and the target elevation at 10 feet then now i'm looking from the floor level to the ceiling level so you can play with these properties to obtain different types of uh, perspective images and 3d views for your drawings If you have placed a lot of cameras and you, uh, it is difficult for you to find the specific one, so try to name the view so that it is easier for for that view to appear. I'm go for example, I'm going to name it Restaurant Interior View. You can also use the orbit to move around within this 3D view and adjust the position of camera slightly if you want now select this crop region go to 3d view the camera appears here you can change its position and angle to obtain more different types of views for your drawings i am going to i have placed a camera above the roof I have selected the section roof and then delay and then I have removed the uh, roof and the ceiling and now I am going to obtain the top view perspective plan with the help of the camera It is difficult to adjust the camera in the 3D perspective view, so go to elevation and you can also select the select and adjust the camera in it. So now I have a top view perspective drawing of this restaurant interior. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any difficulties or queries related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. In the next tutorial, I will 
continue from here maybe it will be off the section box so till then goodbye and take care and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe